multiple fires continue to rage out of control in Sonoma and Napa counties. State officials say some 58,000 acres have burned, including at least 1,500 homes and businesses. The region's beginning to witness one of the most severe disasters in decades. Thousands of people have been forced from their homes, and smoke has spread throughout the region. We have many, many structures that have been burned to the ground, and I would guess that the number of people that are um, displaced at least by evacuation and, and possibly by losing their homes is in the thousands. Blocks of homes burned down, major businesses burned down, um, infrastructure burned down and damaged. Uh, this, is a, this is a very serious uh, fire like nothing we've seen here before. I know a few friends that have lost their home over there. It's crazy. So we went to go check it out, and I just couldn't believe that it was more than I than I originally thought it was. You can't it was. Even recognize the place. You don't recognize the place, and we used to actually go over there and hang out. But I don't. I don't even know if we're gonna do that ever again. And it's just. I just hope we can all come back as a community and get together and help everybody. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but I hope we find a way soon. You always wonder what that feeling would be, you know, if you're given 15 minutes to grab the stuff you think you need. And you never hope you have to think that way, but this morning we did. And so I just hope that, you know, we you know, pray that the firefighters are safe and uh, that at the end of the day, it's just you know, material goods yeah. that have to get replaced. This is the Cottingtown Mobile Home Park in Santa Rosa, where 12 homes burned to the ground as of yesterday. We spoke with the fire department, and they are, they're declaring this a no-go zone, and they want everybody to go. Okay. So I need you to grab your family, maybe a couple things. Okay. And we'll take off right away, okay? Okay. I'll Thank you. Good. My sister's house burned down. She's up on the hill. And yeah, her whole house is destroyed, so sad. So I saw fire starting there from embers. So I got my hose out and soaked this. Then I decided to go up on the roof and I soaked that. So I was sure that I, my house would go, be gone. I re, when I left here, I didn't know if it's going to stay or not. I'm, I mean, I'm right across the street. I, I thought I was gone. I had to leave with so much, so much smoke and heat. No, no, we were very fortunate. It looks like a bomb went off in here. Um, it, it started uh, this morning about 3.30 when we started getting sparks from you know this area up here. The wife and I started going door to door. What I understand from the fire department is everybody got out. Unfortunately, the fire department couldn't get here in time to save everything, so they managed at least to save the back streets over here. 2, 2.30ish, 2 I heard this boom and um, the smell of smoke just got more prominent and the wind was howling. The wind was really rushing, just the sky was all lit up red. This is it. There's unit 26 right here. Nothing here. Police officer got me out just in time. He was having trouble breathing. Nothing left. Oh, gee.